What's up guys, how y'all doing today? Um, today I'm coming at you, and I'm just going over something that uh, I thought of for the pre-sequel that uh, would be pretty cool if they went ahead and implemented, and that's references to, like, the Vault Hunters used to play as before. Not just the 4 in Borderlands 2, but, you know, um, the ones in Borderlands 1 as well. Now I'm expecting, I'm sort of already expecting references to, like, the first set of Vault Hunters in the pre-sequel, but I also would like to see references to the second set of Vault Hunters. Like, when I originally thought of this, I first thing I thought of Krieg and how it'd be cool if there was, like, this little side quest where you're, like, collecting Hyperion data and you get these echologues of Krieg as he's being turned into this, like, psycho. You know, he, he starts off normal, so you hear, like, what he sounds like when he was normal, you know, and how he tries to, like, I don't know, resist their torture or their experimentation or whatever. And, um, you just continue to, like, pick up echologues, like, it's a side quest, like, just figuring out about this, like, exper experiment or something. I don't expect it to be a story mission, just, you know, like a side quest. And, uh, it just, like, every echologue, it shows just what, like, I, like, you know, it shows the audio of, like, what they're doing to him. And how he's reacting to it, and how he's, like, breaking down, and, you know, how he finally becomes the Krieg we know today. Um... Obviously, his other half is still in there as well, but it still would be cool to see how uh, he became, like, this psycho, and how he maybe resists the torture. Maybe he just, like, I don't know, he fell flat to the experimentation. Maybe he just couldn't put up too much of a fight at all. Who knows? Um, for the other characters, uh, I think maybe if there was to be, like, a reference to, let's go ahead and say Gage, um, maybe they could do a thing where... Uh, they hear, like, I don't know, like, it doesn't even have to be, like, a side quest. It could be, like, uh, you're walking in on these guys listening to, like, the the Echo Net or something, and uh, they hear, like, this newscast of 16-year-old girl destroyed or, like, ripped <laughs> or, like, smacked till they exploded, like, smacked into, like, an explosion of blood or whatever. I don't know how they put it, but <laughs> Marcy Holloway murdered by crazy mad scientist... <laughs> Gadeless death trap unit. That that would that'd be kinda of funny and see how like I don't know, like the the scavs there, I think that's what like the the bandit replacements are called. Uh the scavs there, how how they react to it. I think that'd be funny. Just like a small reference like that. Um Again, I was expecting it for like the first set of Vault Hunters, but it'd be cool if you get it for like the second set too, even though it's you know before we actually like officially like meet them or like, you know, get to play as them. Um Salvador, I'm not too sure. Salvador, he was he was in a a town, right? I don't know how and there'd be like any form of reference to him. Um, I really wouldn't know. Uh, Axton, Axton, I could probably think of something like Axton. He would uh like you'd get this like d doll because doll is a thing on the moon, I believe. Because I because they were like uh, if you saw the gameplay trailer or not gameplay, the developer walkthrough of Wilhelm, you saw like. Doll jet fighters or something. So doll is like a thing. So maybe you know they could get like uh they could be walking. You could be walking past like information terminal and like um I don't know a distress call or something from an accident unit or something. You hear him talking. Blah 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 blah. You know or whatever. That'd be something. Zero. I mean he's an assassin. He's uh, obviously been to multiple planets. Um, because he definitely didn't originate on Pandora. There could be like several news stories about him and how this like this cr this, uh, this crazy um, assassin is running around just like slaughtering people while talking in haiku. I don't know exactly how they do it. They'd have to make it different for each one. I don't know if like news stories would be the best thing, or maybe or maybe maybe like one of the um, like during a quest or something like someone you're going after, maybe someone you're like being paid to kill or whatever, it could be a side quest, is um you he he knows you're coming for him and he's uh thinking about him maybe I should call like an assassin to take you guys out for me because you're not too much of a challenge and whatnot and blah 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 blah. I could call this uh this assassin guy who talks in like poetry or whatever that I've been hearing all over the echo net. See stuff like that, stuff like that. And who's left? Amaya? Um Apparently, you know, sirens are n not really, like, common information, so I don't know exactly how they would, like, reference her or anything, or talk about her or bring her up, because they're not really common knowledge. Um, I'm going to assume she was kind of kept hidden on the planet she was on. Um, I mean, Handsome Jack figured out about her when she, like, was arriving to Pandora, like, right, 
right before she left when the whole thing with the uh with the monks went down and she like shot one or something. I think that's what happened. Yeah, she face locked him and shot him. That was pretty epic. But I don't know how they would uh, bring her up. Her and Sal, I don't know. They're kind of like off the net there. Nothing really too much uh, about them that you could really do to, I don't know, maybe reference them. Uh, if you guys have any any ideas, feel free to leave them below. But as for the first of the Vault Hunters, they're they're pretty much they're they're famous at this point already. This is after you know after the whole situation with the first Vault. Um, everyone knows what they did. They're they're famous. They are. Uh, so they could get brought up in a numerous amount of ways, and I expect them to. Um, now, I don't necessarily expect any of these characters to be in the pre-sequel at all. Like, at all. I really don't think so. Um, who knows? Maybe, like, a DLC could be, uh, like, you guys going into the, like, Krieg's, Krieg's like, experimentation type deal. And, like, uh, being there and, like, si sort of like in a simulation and simulating his, uh, I don't know. I don't know what exactly they were doing to Krieg. I don't think it's ever been said, like, what they were trying to do. They obviously wanted to make him into some kind of, like, weapon for Hyperion or whatever, but he, uh, he escaped and got out, so we don't really know, but who knows, maybe, like, like the four, um, lieutenants, like, Jax four lieutenants are sent there to, like, simulate, um, like, some combat environments for him, and a DLC could be, you know, like, Krieg, like, you're just making Krieg into what he is. Like I said, the, the psycho he is today. I don't know. It could be a DLC, sort of, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That that takes a little bit of thought. But, I don't know. It was just a... Uh, all this was just an idea I had. Uh, I thought about it a while back, and I sort of forgot about it until now. Just wanted to bring it up, and I kind of didn't really have a video today that wasn't, like, 40 minutes long and didn't want to upload it. So, you know, just sort of like a scapegoat video. Either way, um, it'd be nice to see what you guys think about this or any ideas you guys might have, because it would always be cool to hear about, you know, past games in this uh, new upcoming game, the pre-sequel. So, I want to thank you guys for, uh, want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye!